Hey friends, welcome back to the Destination Baby and Kids YouTube channel. This is Gina. I am very excited to be with you here today to go over uh, an all-terrain three-wheel running stroller offering from Baby Jogger. So what we are going to be talking about is the Baby Jogger Summit X3. So um, I have a whole series on jogging strollers. I have a video discussing and kind of comparing all of them, but I did want to do a little video just on this guy because I think there is actually quite a bit about this stroller that's pretty cool for the price. And I wanted to make sure that I touched on the things that make it special. So um, this Baby Jogger is a brand that's been around forever. I've sold Baby Jogger my entire career. So um, what I like about Baby Jogger is that they offer a lifetime warranty. And also they make, in my opinion, some of the sturdiest strollers on the market. So when I say sturdy, I mean that they generally are perceived to be heavy. Um, they will last really through anything. Like you'll get sick of looking at it before it dies, similar to a Toyota. Um, but they've done some nice things on this specific Summit X3 uh, over the past couple of years. Um, and I want to make sure that I touch on that because this guy is a $549 price point. So it's pretty cost effective. Additionally, Baby Jogger does have some very aggressive sale periods. Um, when I was making this, I happened to notice that they were doing a sale period and you could get it for under $400 retail, which was shocking. In comparison to the other premium running strollers, um, this is probably going to be one of the more cost-effective options. So let's talk about what about it is special or fabulous. So one thing I do want to point out is you can remove both the canopy and the fabric set from the stroller to make it sort of a naked frame with a basket. You can purchase a carry cot to click onto the stroller to parent face for a newborn. You can also buy car seat adapters for a variety of brands. Those will clip on and then you can click your car seat directly on to be parent facing. Now they wouldn't recommend using it for running with an infant. Um, you would need to consult your pediatrician and determine with head and neck support what makes sense for your lifestyle. But the stroller does have a very nice uh, recline level. So I'd say if you're doing an older child, you know, just directly into the stroller, I think the recommendation is they can start as soon as six months. The back portion has all mesh ventilation with the ability to roll up the window and toggle it so it stays open with the vent. This vent is enormous compared to most brands, just give you a strip. This is huge. Um, additionally, I think Baby Jogger's done some, now it is Velcro. Magnet would be fancier. Magnet would also be more expensive. Um, and if your kid's waking up at Velcro, oh God, um, it's gonna be a long road for you. You want that kid that can sleep through anything, right? Sleep train them. No, just kidding. Um, the magnets are in the top portion. So we have magnet uh, here for the back ventilation uh, the, on the top part of the canopy. And then on the side as well, that is magnetic. This specific color has a reflective pattern on the side. So if you're walking in the evening and light were to flash on it, you would notice that it is reflective. So it would stand out, which is very cool. Um, the seat does sit up pretty darn upright. So that seems to be a common question that I'm getting about a lot of these running strollers. Um, this guy has the option. Now this is true of a lot of brands. They're not gonna recommend that you do this, but if your child is going through a phase where they need to sit very, very upright, you can shove and pull the backrest to sit more upright, sort of pushing it against the other fabric and even get it to sort of the seat back to pop outside of the canopy. Now again, this is not Baby Jogger's recommendation whatsoever, because it's gonna pull on the fabric weirdly. But um, if they're going through that phase where they need a very, very upright seated position, this is getting and hitting, I don't know if you can see with the back of my shirt, 90 degrees, which is um, incredible. The other thing about this guy is that the fabric on the inside, they've changed to a neoprene. Um, it's very soft and it is a nice quality foam. Also, the seat itself has a pretty different, or decent 
seat structure. So um, one of my criticisms of like the Bob Revolution Flex, which is a great stroller, is that the seat is sort of hammocky. So I don't know for how long that would be comfortable for a child. So if you're gonna go for a long day, I do like that the actual seat here feels to be very, very comfortable, very supportive. There are no pockets in the seat. Some of the other ones will have seat pockets. This one doesn't in the seat, but on the back of the seat, there's a pocket for uh, mom and dad or caregiver, which I mean, be realistic, that's more important anyway. Another nice feature of this guy is that they do make a gigantic plastic tray that you can buy separately um, that will fit on the front or what is referred to as a belly bar. So you could buy either of those things and have a child that likes to hang onto it or put their feet up on it and hang out for that stroll. Now, um, additionally, the seat back is about 18 and a half inches. The stroller width is gonna be 13 inches for the seat. The seat depth was nine and a half inches and then the knee break down to the footwell is nine inches. So that's sort of the interior. And then uh, headspace up to canopy was 24 and 25 inches. It was hard to see completely underneath, but that's sort of the head clearance we're dealing with. Handle height. So I think the handle height on this guy was 41 inches. Um, it is a non-adjustable handle, so it is one handle height. I am five feet, five inches. When I use this for walking, I found that the handle height was fine for me, it didn't bother me. Also, the thickness of the handle felt pretty good. Um, it is a rubber material on it, it's not a foam, so I love that. This is very easy to clean with um, like a, a wipe or whatever just to get all the germs off of it. So I think that that is a very nice feature. Additionally, you have a handbrake. So there's a foot brake to fully break the product completely. Um, it is flip-flop friendly. I'm wearing sandals. I didn't have to toe up underneath, so that's nice. But the handbrake will slow the stroller if you're going downhill. Now, it is... Um, sort of like the not most expensive handbrake in the world, but it was functional. When I was going downhill, which was pretty steep hills, I was able to squeeze this handbrake completely. I had to fully engage it. I didn't have to like squeeze so hard, but you do have to engage it completely and it will slow the stroller, which is pretty awesome. Now, um, it has a pretty intense suspension on the back axle, which is great. This is a heavy stroller. So when I say heavy, it's around 29 pounds, which is in line with the other three wheel strollers, but it's heavy to push. It's sort of the combination of where the suspension sits with the weight of the child sitting directly on the suspension. On level terrain, it really wasn't particularly challenging. In fact, it felt really nice. I'd also say taking it off road, felt very smooth. I wasn't feeling every single bump and I think that would translate to a pretty nice ride for the child, but I will say I had to exert more energy to get this guy to move um, than I did other three wheel strollers. So if you're looking for a long distance running stroller to go uphill, this is definitely not my favorite, but for a broad variety of other activities on level terrain, including uh, different types of terrain that's majorly level, I think this is going to be a very nice option and it's a very good option for the price. So I do also love that it's a single hand fold. So again, I can be holding my uh, anything in my other hand and I'm able to get the stroller folded up as you can see here. It's a relatively small fold for a three wheel stroller and it does not stand on its own. So if I want to stand it, I'm gonna to need to turn it onto its side and set it down that way. Um, one thing I will give this stroller credit for is that the wheels, oops, it's spinning away from me here. The wheels come off completely. And so um, a lot of the running strollers, you can remove your back tires, like what you see me doing here. These are air inflatable tires with an inner tube, 12 inches. Um, uh, 12 inch front tire and then a 16 inch rear tire, but I'm going to be able to actually remove the entire front joint of this stroller Once I figure out how to pull it Whew, There we go. So with buttons that are easily accessible I'm able to get this guy Into a very very thin small package so I love this. I had a two-door coupe 
Um, the trunk was big, but the opening for getting into the trunk was very narrow. So feeding this in and feeding in the tires wouldn't have been an issue. Additionally, packing and stacking this would be very, very easy. There is a storage strap on the side with a particular piece that it loops through, so you can keep it entirely closed. But um, it's a pretty nice feature that the front wheel is fully removable, including the front joint. The other thing that's a little bit more unusual about this stroller that I thought was a nice feature is that you can lock the front tire without having to bend over and touch anything on the wheel. And so you're saying, well, like, why would that even matter? Um, if you live in a snowy area, like I'm from Minnesota originally, so if I were walking and I came to ice or snow and I wanted my front tire to be fixed, the ability to do that is on the front, or excuse me, on the side of the stroller here and that's going to lock my front tire. So now it's fixed, it's not swiveling. I'm not going to have to remove a glove in order to do that. Um, so yeah, this little Baby Jogger Summit X3, again, not my favorite running stroller, but just as an all around walking option on level terrain, different surfaces, extremely cost effective, lifetime warranty, limited colors, but some decent accessories. Um, again, won't stand on its own, but does achieve a one-handed, pretty compact fold. All in all, definitely a very strong buy um, and strong value. Okay, um, please feel free to check out any of my other videos on any of the other running strollers that we offered in my comparison video, or check that out too. Please feel free to like, subscribe. If you wanna buy the stroller from my website, head over there to destinationbabykids.com. Happy to help you. Um, and thank you so much for watching. We hope to see you in our next video. All right, bye.